Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Alexander Tarwinski. Uh, I'm a specialist uh, of um, international cooperation and um, uh, international students. And welcome everyone to our webinar today. Uh, we gonna talk to uh, Mr. Marek Brodsky, our lecturer, film director. And uh, please uh, be um, ready for asking us questions. Okay. Marek, uh, okay, uh, would you tell us uh, uh, something about uh, our international studies? First of all, I'm really, really, really curious about you guys because I'm absolutely sure that in front of your computers they are uh, real artists, filmmakers dreaming about this, uh, dreaming about this career and dreaming about this, everything that is connected with the expression film director, but also cinematographers. I'm sure that there are some cinematographers over there. And what I would like to say that this is something uh, what we really aiming on. We This is not the school of, uh, I don't know, kind of craft. This is the school for artists, okay? And this is the school for the people um, being absolutely convinced that they are they are directors, they are filmmakers, and they want to be the, the, the filmmakers, the people creating this kind of art in the future. And uh, our school, this is the place where you will find everything what you're gonna need actually at this particular moment for developing of your skills, art, and everything that will help you to 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 to, no, to become to be a real director. We got uh, equipment. We got everything. But this probably most important. We have a uh, good teachers because this school is based on the model of teaching, which is actually not a teaching. <laughs> we are sharing with you our professional experience and. This is some kind of base, okay? This is our base. So, and uh, well, sometimes the people are saying that this is something very strange because in this school, our students are paying for critic. Yes, it is. It is like that. This is practical school where our students have to shoot the many exercises and they will the, and the later the, 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 they will get the feedback, which is not always very, very good. And well, that's the school. We are sharing with you our thoughts. And we are, in a very honest way, we are going to tell you what is wrong, what is wrong, or, or what is right. But everything is, I mean, this is for you, because you have to learn something and you have to be absolutely sure that your way correct at this moment i'm talking mainly mostly about the first year of teaching because the second third year this is of course something different this is more uh, observing of developing of your art skills and everything uh, what is giving us the chance to tell you yes you are the young director or you are the young Cinematography. What else, Ola? What, uh, do we have any uh, questions? Is anybody interested in something? Uh, we do have a question uh, from Miki. Uh, he asked about um, the names of the exercises that uh, students shot during the, their first year. Uh, so, would you yeah. uh, uh, explain briefly? Uh, What's the uh, idea of uh, those uh, exercises, short films? The first exercise is called light. And this is something that is really interesting because uh, the students have to find out their own way uh, for showing us how they understand the light. Because 
for the cinematographers, for example, the light is absolutely the crucial, most important element of the visualization of the film picture, right? Because without the light, we don't have a picture. And uh, we know it since the, 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 the beginning of uh, the movie where when we just need the light to, 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 to somehow record the picture on the tape. It was on the beginning, the, the film tape, this analog film tape. Now we have something different, but the rules are the same. We need the light. But in this exercise, uh, again, we are really curious about our students, how they understand it and what they are able to propose that, they, I mean, convince us that they see this light. I'm talking now about the cinematographers or they understand the light as a problem, as a, an idea for the movie, uh, talking about the directors. So, and this is like a first exercise, and this exercise is showing us, is giving us the, the, the impression who is really who, how those young people understand the duty for creating the story, because we filmmakers, we are storytellers, okay? And this light, this is like a you know, keyword, and then we will see we are going to, you know, to, 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 to observe you, how you understand it. And we are very curious for the results of this. Okay. So this is the light. The next is a conversation. This is a little bit, not the higher level, but completely different because now we have a dialogue scene. And again, using some already known elements of the cinematic language, film language. Mm, we uh, yeah we expect something what will be really more. However, light was a little bit abstract. Understood the conversation. Conversation. We would like to see the heroes talking, and again the cinematographers. How they will find a way to create this picture, but they still need to tell the story and the directors they have to create a nice story with the dialogue. The next one is uh, really, really interesting because this is erotic. This is the second part of, I mean, this is something that is uh, uh, planned for the second semester. And again, this is really, really something uh, more complicated because erotic this is very delicate in the matter. And again, the cinematographers, we expect that they will show us how they understand it and direct us what kind of ideas they have for this kind of creation and this uh, and how they would like to show this problem because this is uh, something what is i mean present in the cine in the movie in the cinema and uh, our students also have to deal with this and to try to 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 show the attitude to this problem from their own side we have also uh, some documents and the last one is a seven take i mean documents the documentary that we expect that our students they will shoot some short documentary for us and we expect to see we would like to see that they really understand what it means documentary of course teachers are preparing for it and uh, in this year the last uh, exercise this is seven takes this is a short movie or a bit longer and um, what do we expect we expect to see seven really beautiful takes that the, each takes is each take is really really something and of course again a story with a hero with everything what uh, belongs to the proper story and those first exercises like erotic uh, light and uh, and conversation they have a limit only two minutes seven takes can be a bit longer the documentary all also can be a little bit longer well so if you will pass this first year welcome of course i'm joking a little bit we are really 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 concentrated 
on our students and we wish them all the best but we also have to be honest if something doesn't work it's our duty to tell it to our students and that's what we do uh, one more question from Miki. Uh, he wants to know exactly uh, if uh, during these exercises there is um, cooperation between cinematographers and directors. Um, yes. Um, Good that uh, network troubles. Okay, hola, am I back? Because I had the impression that we have some break. Okay, if everything is okay, so uh, Mickey, mm, this is also something what is typical for our school. We 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 ask our students to work together. Okay, and this is the, this kind of cooperation, in learning from each other, which is really really important to create the own network here in the school. And of course, the directors um, used to work with the cinematographers and uh, in, in the and an opposite way also. And you can use not all the equipment from our school for those exercises, but also the actors from uh, our um, from the set of actors, the young actors studying also in our school because we have a also this, uh, this part of studying here. So cooperation, and of course, this is not only the director and cinematographer, but also the sound department. We have also the, the, the sound department and the staff students of uh, studying the sound creation, and they are very clever. And you are supposed to also use the possibility to to work with the producers we have uh, the, the production managers here they are all students so all set of people needed to shoot a movie is here and you can you can connect them you can work with them and uh, i can even say that you should do this right um yes thank you and uh, i would like to tell you about uh, the and as uh, Mr. Marek mentioned, the cooperation between different uh, um, departments of our school, like uh, sound engineers, uh, editors, and um, production managers. Um, our school uh, um, offers uh, two uh, kind of uh, um, faculties for um, foreign, foreign students, which is uh, film directing and cinematography. And uh, these are two uh, on-campus studies for international studies. Uh, we also do have an uh, online uh, program, um, which is uh, online only, as I said, uh, Universal Filmmaker. And uh, here in our school, we also have uh, Polish uh, studies. Uh, on campus, and uh, as uh, Marek mentioned, uh, you can you can you cooperate with uh, students, uh, Polish students from uh, Polish studies during uh, exercises. Uh, so it's um, it's kind of difficult, but you have to learn how to uh, create your uh, shooting crew. It's a crucial thing uh, that well, if you are a director or a cinematographer. Uh, you do not work alone. You have other people on the set and you have to be uh, really cooperative. That's why we uh, kind of force uh, students to, um, to um, create um, groups of uh, people working on uh, one project. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm. So that's briefly about uh, our um, programs that we offer and the structure of the school. So, uh, Marek, um, I'm sure that uh, our future students are curious if um, what are the career opportunities for uh, our students, our graduates. So, uh, would you explain? Yeah, yeah. Uh, th this is this is something what is 
very similar to the, uh, the and other careers. But what is uh, really great in our school, we expect from you uh, good movies, interesting movies being somehow uh, um, original, okay? Because, um, yeah, that's what I said on the very beginning, that this is the school for artists, for people who, uh, just seeing the world on the different way, on your own way. And uh, yeah, and you, if you are trying to tell your own story using the movie, this beautiful um, art, let's say, uh, this medium, we will help you with this. And then what do we got? We have we got interesting movies. And then we, uh, we have a, in our school the department responsible for the festivals and this is something that really is really powerful and we are sending your movies guys to many festivals and now when you uh, have uh, some festivals prizes and you are a winner of this and the other festival immediately your career begin to be you know somehow uh, <laughs> you are standing in the front of the really big career then you can expect some proposals, then you can be sure that if you will go to the producer with your own project, you will find the money for it. You become to be the real filmmakers. We have a lot of successes, yes. And uh, we, uh, as you probably heard, uh, this year we have an Oscar-nominated movie of our students. The years before, we had the same Oscar. We win a lot of festivals with the movies of our students. This is really, really long list you can find information about it on our website. Also, the, one of our students, Veronica Anderson, who is involved today in this day and helping us, she also was a winner of many, many film festivals. She was also my student here. Okay, so <clears throat> career is really something but uh, it's uh, available for you. I mean, good, great filmmaker's career. And uh, this is something, something that works not only for you, but also for us, because this is, we are very proud, okay? If you get uh, some prizes on the festivals, this is also something very, very important for our school. So it means that it's good. And actually, we are absolutely convinced that it is like that. We have a really, really one of the greatest film schools in Europe. And uh, probably this is the, the most awarded school um, last year's at all. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I want to say. Um, there is a question from Atakan. Uh, he asks about uh, our game design uh, side of um, a program. Uh, I don't. I think I can. I, I would answer that question. Um, so, uh, in our offer, uh, there is a, a course called uh, TV programs, video games, and film directing, which uh, and the. Um, game design part is mostly uh, focused on uh, shooting uh, game trailers and directing uh, uh, scenes. Uh, we do not offer uh, coding in particular. It's more uh, artistic way of uh, uh, of um, mm, uh, oh, sorry. Mm. I mean, the, at, the, at, at, uh, this is at something the, more connected. Ola, let me let me help you. This is something that is more connected again with the storytelling, with create creation. I mean, uh, because uh, the many video games they are also just the stories. Yes, and you have to have a good hero in the story, and then the, there is the developing of this hero. Um, adventures and whatever. It's of course it's depend on what kind of the video games you 
are going to create. But uh, this is something mostly, um, uh, uh, mostly um, uh, connected with the storytelling, with the creation of the hero. Yes, because if you think that you will learn here, I mean, in this in this hour offer that you will learn how to 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 create the code for, I mean, the, the everything was connected strictly with the computer. This is not this way. We are again much more connected with the, this visual side, okay, and the storytelling and the humor. Okay, thank you. Uh, Marek, so um, maybe um, uh, let's talk about um, the recruitment process, how it looks like. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, you have to submit um, a form that is available on uh, our website. Uh, you have to submit documents and uh, like um, passport, uh, and photo, and motivation letter. But the most crucial thing is a work sample that you send to uh, to us, showing um, your um, your piece of work. Uh, we watch it and then we ask you to come to the interview which might be uh, on campus or online so and then we talk about uh, your um, your piece of work and uh, we get to know you and uh, then we decide either uh, you are admitted or uh, or not do you want to add something marek yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd like to say that this is, um, I mean, from one side, this is something what is going to decide are we going to, to, to meet you, to know you. And then from the other side, this is something what uh, sometimes this conversation, this, this meeting, um, personal meeting during the audition, it's uh, most. Um, it's more important than uh, this part where you are only uh, showing yours because sometimes I see that the people being maybe not very skilled with this creation, with the movie language, with everything, uh, but they are trying to say something. Okay, they are trying to tell us that they see the different. They see the world on their own different way which is actually very interesting for us okay and i can have it, this impression immediately from the just the first look for side that uh, uh, this is somebody who, who probably uh, who is going to be a director and i do believe in it and then um, I mean, we are giving the chance for sponsor during this our first conversation we are talking about this. we are talking about what we have here and so on, so on, and uh, and this and this conversation, this audition, this is something what really <clears throat> is going to decide who is going to be our student or not. But uh, what we are looking for in your work, we are looking for something that is okay, and we are we are looking for something that will give us this impression who are you what kind of person are you how you see as i said this world around you and um, what you really want to say what is so original in your vision or uh, your thinking about the filmmaking so don't be afraid to show everything that is uh, very, very somehow, uh, sometimes it could be deeply high debt because you are not sure is it good or not. And you are afraid because maybe somebody of your friends, somebody said, told you, no, 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 this is maybe stupid, don't show it. But if you feel that maybe it's worth to show, to share it with us, do it, do it, don't be afraid. And we will re re really appreciate it. And you will really have a 
we will give you a feedback what we think about it. And sometimes it can be like this, you know, this small element uh, uh, putting your way to to the to this direction to to get you or not to get. So um, and don't be afraid of it because this is, uh, this part of the first meeting. I'm talking now about this uh, conversation, this audition that we really we are really open for you guys and we are really curious who are you so the first part create good set of your works it shouldn't be very big but that show us something what is uh, what you are proud of okay and then we will meet and we will talk so this is our audition this is a recreation of course, you have to know, guys, that uh, there is it's not only me and Ola, there is some board, and we together just taking this decision later um, who is going to be our student. Right? Um, okay, Marek, uh, you said uh, at the beginning that our school is a really practical one. Uh, would you tell us um, something about uh, lecturers uh, in our school? Uh, because um, we all know that they are still active uh, work-wise. Uh, could you tell us uh, about your um, work at the moment and uh, previously? Okay, guys, um, about the, le the lectures. This is nothing what you can find in some of the books. Like uh, this is the book saying that we have this, you know, lectures organized like that. This is everything here is uh, our personal, that our teachers' personal ideas how to teach you, and what you really, um, what we should tell you how we should lead, especially this first year. For example. Uh, my lectures, I, I insist to have both uh, both professions. I mean, cinematographers and directors. What it means? It means that cinematographers they are supposed to receive the same amount of the knowledge than directors. Why? Because in our tradition, and I can even say in our Polish tradition, we always had the cinematographers being very creative very active okay on this artistic field somewhere in the world sometimes you can see that cinematographers they treat it like uh, very important but the part of this film crew who, which is uh, um they they call it below the line okay under the line we have an artist and below the line this is the technical crew and cinematographers are treated like that in many countries, United States in ours. And then suddenly our, our Polish cinematographers, they really break it, okay? They are very creative and they become known in the whole world like a very creative cinematographers. We uh, keep this tradition, okay? And for this reason also, and I treat the cinematographers and directors during this first year on the same level they receive the same amount of knowledge and they have to work on the same level like a directors also with the actors and with everything what is connected with let's call it the the storytelling the creating of the stories the dramaturgy and everything they know it after my lectures after this first year they suppose also if somebody will decide to become director for some i don't know project he will be able to do this okay because i'm giving all the tools for everybody and cinematographers and the directors being taught by me it works on this way okay. what else another question okay another question um it's rather uh, I would answer that question. So, um, does school give uh, assistance for uh, getting comfortable in Warsaw? 
so yes, uh, uh, we do um, uh, we do help our students with uh, getting accommodation. Uh, you can always uh, talk to uh, me or um, or um, dean's office uh, about how you feel. We offer uh, psychological help as well. Uh, so not uh, only a um, practical thing, but something that uh, sometimes uh, it's useful for your mind. And um, we do not have our own, uh, own uh, dorms, but we do have a um, signed contract with a dormitory uh, nearby school, and we offer places for our students over there. And um, we explain... <coughs> Like how everything works to our students. Uh, so yes, I think we we are a great help for uh, getting comfortable in in Warsaw. And uh, our school is really open and uh, um, and we welcome everyone. So I hope that answered your question. Yeah. What else? What kind of questions we have? Come on, guys, ask us. Uh, there is a question. Uh, there are a lot of posts on our uh, website and Facebook fan page uh, about casting uh, for actors. So, does the school provide budget for uh, students' films? Uh, um, so, yeah. Okay, yes. go on. No, no, uh, because um, this is actually the good questions. How to get the money for your productions, okay? And uh, we, uh, we are trying... Um, I mean, we do not expect that those exercises, they will be done on uh, such a high level that you have, uh, I don't know, the, the, the special costumes, the old cars and whatever. We are rather concentrated on the story, okay, an idea. And for this, you can use really everything with this already in the school. You don't need to pay for it because we have a really big the warehouse with the cameras, with a really good modern cameras very good and the light and the dolly equipment and everything is here it's only a matter of organization when you are going to shoot it and to get this stuff from uh, our storage but uh, yeah but later for example uh, when uh, we have the end year movie which is i haven't i didn't tell anything about the end year movie because this is um, the, after the first year of studying, you have to prepare your end year movie, which will which one will be something uh, a little bit higher level. Okay, of uh, mm, this is the movie where uh, where you are going to show us what you have learned during this first year and uh, how you develop your skills, how you develop yourself as an artist. And for this movie, if this movie somehow uh, this is also the kind of uh, a competition because there are the, a lot of I mean, all students from the directors division they have to shoot their own movie together with their cinematographers and if your project will be really interesting you can even expect some money from the school for it okay because the school is ready to to help with some amount of money and of course the school is giving all possibilities with the color correction with all the equipment that very on very high level prepared for post-production and sound and everything but for example if you would like to have some uh, the actors from the you know the, from the high level of uh, the set of actors in poland we can help you to, to, to pay for the salaries, okay? But yeah, I mean, this is, of course, there are no rules for it. The rules are, if, if uh, the movie, 
they is promising you can uh, really count on uh, the very big help even um, financial help from the school side right Thanks. Uh, so um the other question is uh, what uh, knowledge um, our students gain during uh, the studies here yeah, again, repeat the questions. So, Ola, I didn't get you. Uh, what knowledge uh, our students gain during the studies? I mean, this is it's not a matter of knowledge. This is the, the matter of preparation for this profession. I mean, after the school, you guys finishing the school, you are professional, let's say, director cinematographers. And uh, for cinematographers, it's even easier to find the work later because they are, I mean, even in the Polish market, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about market in your countries, but it is also somehow easier. And people are working in their, in their professions. Of course, in the beginning, they are helping uh, um, on the set or um, they being involved like uh, camera operators and so on and so on, but they become to be just normal. Um, cinematographers and working on you know on, on this on this field on this position about the directors as i said if you will uh, win some film festivals which is really 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 uh, possible here and uh, nobody's surprised if it's happening like that immediately you become to be a director and have a, a lot of proposals but finishing just finishing without some great successes you are also prepared you are the filmmaker the director and you can just go to the set and direct the movies it's only a matter of you know finding the good projects me myself i'm of course i'm working here in the school but as a director i'm a freelancer I'm, i i shoot the movies i do the movie only when i will find the producer or somebody will call me and give me the text or i will write the script and i will find the producer for this movie and this is the normal way nobody is uh, really i mean directors nobody is sitting and waiting if somebody will find him but we have to be active we have to be creative but after this school you guys you will be prepared for it but you will know what to do and how to win gain the world What else? Okay, do, do we have other questions? I'm waiting for, for the questions for you guys. Nothing at the moment. Um, so. I would like to add something uh, about this, uh, this, those auditions and the first step guys you have to know that this um, when you will become students of the Warsaw film school this is really like a new how to say um, your new adventure new part of your life this is something that is completely different from what you had before okay because in this school you will meet a lot of people like you so don't be afraid that you are coming here and Everybody will not like you, an opposite. You are like many others coming here. You are on the same level than the others. And you will see that it really works, that people are helping each other, cooperate with each other. And only one, your only one duty is to learn how to tell the proper story, okay? And how to open your mind and how to show us, not that you are the artist, but show us what is original in your storytelling and that's all and this is from both sides very easy and very complicated but it's worth to it's really worth to, to to try it i mean if you feel that you are can be a film director i mean not film director just the filmmaker we are filmmakers it doesn't matter sometimes in the beginning are uh, you going to be the the director 
a cinematographer or cinematography being sometimes director or maybe you will decide during this 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 the, the school here that you would prefer to do something different i don't know what but this is really good moment in your life if you only feel that you can be a filmmaker and this is something like your destiny don't hesitate to try really that's what i'd like to say Okay, um, since we do not have more questions, I think we're gonna say uh, goodbye to you guys. Thank you, Marek, for, uh, for this uh, webinar. It was really, uh, it was a pleasure uh, to work with you and uh, hope you are uh, gonna join our great school and I hope to see you soon. Yeah, what I would like to add, so guys, see you on the auditions. Think about this, what we said today, and don't be afraid to join to our school and this incredibly fantastic society of the filmmakers. See you later. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Ola. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.